友人の剣をくれヘロヘロスケルトアブデヒューズレジェンズウォーカムバックトゥデュアルピジーコーナーツタイムフォーサモーレジェンドヒーローストラズコールスティルウィアーインベリーハーツベリアハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアーベリーハーツシティウィアー We're here, field study time. We have quests to complete. Let's, uh, let's take a. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. I'm gonna have to pick that up. Treasure chest, there's people to chit chat with, cathedral, and so on and so forth. Let's start with a、uh, little boy. Hey there. My daddy has a car. It's so cool. It goes vroom and beep beep and everything. Okay. I see he's very excited. It's understandable, though. I haven't had much of an opportunity to spend time with him lately. Fortunately, I found the time to do so now. Oh, it's his mom. Okay. Alright, l let's go get this treasure chest. I think. Is it acquirable? I am not on the right side of where I thought it was. Oh, it's underneath. You see how the map goes blah, 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 like that? So I have to go over here and then here. <gasps> oh, fishing spot. Oh, you know what that means. You know what that means. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Catching them fishies. Not bad. An Anor Carp. s e p i t h Wind. And again. c a u g h one. Another Anarcarp. Is it just one fish in every city? Sword Tail, very cool. So that's a cool one. There aren't any fish here, but you can make them gather b e e s and ground bait. No! Alright, l we fished. I can't get the chest. This looks like a nice spot. Because it's on the other side. That's s h o p i d Maybe there's another entrance. Aha! I did not think that. Can't get there from there. Map it up. Uh, let's go inside these buildings before I accept this quest. I don't know what's gonna happen. Source. Ooh. A scene. This restaurant's pretty big. Aha, I feel like we're a little out of place here. And yet, this pales in comparison to the restaurants dedicated to nobles. I used to come here frequently before I started attending the academy. Must have been good if you're regular. It must be a gathering place for haughty nobles, too, then. Feel free to wait outside for us if you wish. I'll just, I'll have to give my regards to the owner as well. What? Was that a slight smile I saw there? Welcome to Sorcier. Allow me to. Oh, it's Lord Eusis. Aha, I didn't even notice it was you because of your school uniform. I see you haven't changed much. But of course, because he's common. I'm still going at it with my cooking studies too, so please, please feel free to give some of my dishes a try. What you got? You got jewel potage, creamy chowder, aromatic tea, savory herb tea. Okay, let's c h e v a chit chat. It's been five years since Hammond took me under his wing, and I think he's close to accepting me as a full fledged chef. He's brutally, brutally strict, though. Guess that's to be expected from the man known as the sauce magician. The sauce boss! <laughs> Owner Hammond, hello, Lord Eustace. It's been a while. 
One of my assignments at the academy has led me to return here briefly, I, so I saw it fit to show my face here. Things seem to be going well for you there, I'm glad. I assume you must all be Lord Eustace's classmates. I'm pleased to see that you've been able to make so many friends at the academy. They're only classmates, not friends. They look close. Yeah, I don't think you'd get this close to someone just by frequenting their restaurant, though. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hammond, and I'm the owner and head chef of this restaurant. I intend on continuing to deliver the highest quality of food, so I hope you'll be able to stop by. Highest quality. Alright. Random dudes. Baron Caroline. My concern is with my daughter's friendship with a commoner at the academy. So you're worried she'll befriend someone who sides with the reformists? Thoris is quite a famous academy, however. Are you sure Theresia would get involved with people like that? I can't say for sure. I personally wanted her to enter St. Astraea, but she was heavily opposed to that. I did make sure she at least entered a well-regarded academy, however. She's now made a close friend at her lacrosse club. <gasps> is she friends with... Uh... Is it Alice? I forgot her name. Whatever. Certainly was expecting you to want to discuss your daughter, but the fact that you're concerned for her shows that you are qualified as a parent. Oh, please, that can't be true when what I want to discuss involves whether she hates me or not. Alright. <coughs> Good day, everyone. I hope you all enjoy my performance. Sure, Greta. Playing some pretty, uh, pretty rocking music there. You just keep rocking out. And then I got you. He don't look noble at all. He's just like a dude. Merchant Barrock. Last month's grand market over at Keldic ended up being more stressful than anyone could have expected. Unfortunately, they managed to catch the culprits. Everything went more or less back to normal after that. Anyway, I need to focus on making sure my next transaction goes well. Yeah. Well, some nobles here. Old Man Keaton. This is delicious as ever. It said this soup was first made in the Middle Ages. In fact, Emperor Dreykels himself was known to enjoy it. Of course, that's but one of many theories. Others say it was the first made by a court chef after his death. Please don't start giving history lessons while we're here on vacation, darling. Surely there are better ways for you to enjoy yourself. Are you serving an empty table, dude? Bryce? Greetings and welcome, Lord Eustace. We just received some fresh ingredients this morning. Might you be interested in trying our seasonal menu? And then this table here. It's a really expensive looking place. I'm a bit scared for my wallet. You're not a noble. This is delicious. Can he really afford this though? He said he'd treat me, but I'm kind of worried. Oh man, got to put up the show. Put on the show when you're trying to... What's the question mark over there? Oh, I got to check that out. Let's go check out the chapel or the cathedral. This cathedral, truly, he's everywhere. He's leaving the train, sitting on the train. You live, you're everywhere, dude. You're a doppelganger. I feel as though I've entered an entirely different realm. The youngsters there, feast your eyes on a spectacular stained glass with me. Many cardinals have come from this cathedral, haven't they? It truly is fitting to regard it as one of Eroboner's centers of faith. Just being there fills me with awe. Yo. This cathedral is open to all who seek the teachings of Adios. Youngsters, feel free to offer your prayer should you ever face tough times. May Adios be with you. You know what? I'm talking to all these people, but I'm like, I should look. You know, I'm trying to like stumble upon a secret quest. Secret quest. Classrooms and such. I don't think I'm going to stumble upon one just talking to everybody, but that seems to be how it's done. It's just the city's so big. All right, hold on. Let's go see what this question mark's all about. Question mark. Question mark. I can't trigger it. Okay, let's get this quest started. You there. Hello, Richard. Woof, woof, woof. I meant to talk to him. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a minute? Ah, uh, might those be uniforms from Thor's Military Academy? Assume that you must be the students Lord Rufus mentioned. Them. What's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to some students who came along here for some manner of field study, you see. Well, in truth, he asked my father first, but he's as busy as he ever was, so the request was passed on to 
his heir, in other words, me. Oh, that sounds rather interesting, doesn't it? Now take a guess at what I came up with. Oh, you're such a tease. These are nobles. <laughs> Might I have something, some time to think about it? Um, so what exactly was your request? How dare you interrupt our conversation? Sigh, you commoners truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those superior to you to finish their conv- Oh my. What's the matter? Lord Eusis, I had no idea you were here with these commoners. Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, put them in their place, Eusis. We would never be so crass. I could get used to Yeah, Fee and me are cool. Yeah. Why couldn't he just stand where, where they could see him in the first place? Well, what is it you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request that you procure some pink salt for us. I see, that's a rather difficult request. Fret not, then I can change the request if you wish. That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? It's That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it, much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Arox Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Oh, I see. Why are they putting salt in the bath, though? Putting salt in the bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. Ahaha. Ah. Well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get the request from the artisan's street settled before making our way over there then. Addicted to bath salts. Started. <clears throat> Alright. Well. Yeah, artisan street is where they said I gotta go. So let's -a go. Hey there, dude. Oh ho, if it isn't Lord Eusis. How many months has it been since I last had the pleasure of meeting you? Today happens to be a most splendid day, too, with the warmth of the early summer sun shining down from above. Greetings. It has indeed been a while. Sounds pretty bored. He just seems as arrogant as always to me. Alright. Well, that's a cool looking street. You got Turner's Jewelers, Valenti Tailoring, Davos Factory, Alouette Inn. Got my hands on some rare eastern silk at Celtic's Grand Market. Teehee, now I need to go find... Oh, it's that girl from the, the market. Only the best will be able to make good use of such rare material. Um, oh, what a pleasure it is to be here in the Verdant City. A city dedicated to nobles who also serve as um, a Rabona center of fashion. My daughter is quite a fashion addict, you see. She's so desperate to make her way to the tailor that she won't listen. Okay. So that's Turner's Jewelers. That's where I have to go. Let's do a peek around first. Oh my, there really are all kinds of stores here. The nobles frequent them too, so they're guaranteed to offer good quality. I'm just listening on their conversation. Oh, same convo. Welcome to Davos's factory. Well, if it isn't Lord Eusis, what are you doing here? That's quite the greeting. My brother made mention of the fact that you would be in charge of our Arcus, is that correct? It is. I'd appreciate if you didn't expect an old guy like me to get used to all this new technology, though. But seeing as it's Lord Rufus we're talking about, I'm willing to look past the inconvenience. Regardless, at least allow me to offer my apologies. Hurry up and tell me your business, then. I've got plenty of other things to be doing. I'm surprised you came back now, of all times. And why is that? Has something occurred while I was gone? It certainly has. After you left town and Lord Rufus began being more tied up with his duties, that huge tax increase came rolling in. We poor artisans are all suffering thanks to the Duke's little bullying spree. So that's what he's been up to. He certainly was blunt about that. Seems like he, that's the way things go here. Duke Alvare is even less popular than I thought. You see, this is how the whims of the, the nobility affect the common people. I hope you're all paying close attention. Uh, anything new? Forte, HP, bonus to HP. Ooh, it's a huge bonus. It doesn't cost that much. I didn't get a couple of these. All right, I got a couple of them. Alright. 
Ah, a Rogatu. Aerial Wand. Grey Needler. Sinclair and the Double Skinner. I have to buy these weapons first, don't I? Except he doesn't sell them. Master Quartz. Exchange. Orb Mint. Hmm. I don't have the Kogetsu Namaru. Where do I get this stuff? It's not here. It's not here. So, oh wait. Nope. I have the Kazakiri, the Prima Bow. I got these things. Nothing! You have nothing! Hmm. Go here. Equip. Yeah. Alright. I don't know where to get those weapons. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna have to do some research. Alright. Went to that shop. Talked to those fools. Cleaning, cleaning, it's so much fun. Oh, sorry about that. Please feel free to go in if you're looking for a meal. We're not the fanciest store, but the Master's Espresso is pretty popular. I should have made some coffee myself. Welcome. If you want a drink, I'd have to recommend our espressos. I actually started making espressos as a kind of experiment for the artisans who come here. A change of pace of sorts. Started brewing them on a daily basis, and eventually I became good at it. Nowadays, they call me the Espresso Master. Well, simple omelet and berry tarts. There is no espressos on your menu. <laughs> Try the espressos that we don't sell. Hilarious. It's hard to sit down and relax over in the inns, in the stores of the central plaza since all of them are geared towards nobles. Simpler places like this are more suited to us common folk. Don't get me wrong. I mean that in a good way. Okay. <coughs> Valenti tailoring. Oh my, if it isn't Lord Eusis, please feel free to ask if you need something custom made. We're proud to say that we've tailored some of Lord Rufus's indoor clothing. Take your time now. So, some upgrades in gear cotton shirt, silver jacket, uh, golden dress. So these actually will help. I think I'll pick a couple of these up. And a couple of golden dresses for the ladies. Oh, I forgot I got to equip stuff. Uh, armored vest, meat, silver jacket. Fiber guard, meat, a golden dress. Fiber guard, meat, silver jacket. All right, what else you got? What else you got? Rubber soles, noble leather, and glittering mules. Movement stays the same. Speed goes up. Guess we're getting some of these too. And you can wear them. Some glittering mules. Yes. Fiber boots. Noble leather. <coughs> Alright. We've geared up. Yes, more or less. A shop up here too. Well, who do we have here? Welcome back, Lord Eustace. Sorry for not coming out to greet you. I've been working mad. Like mad to keep this place going after our taxes got doubled. It's hard to make money when it's all being sucked away by taxes, you know? Just how does the Duke expect us to live? Oh boy. I wonder if that's going to be a factor while we're here in town. Are we going to solve the tax crisis? <laughs> Getting stuck in a place like this is the worst. I really wanted to get stationed over at Fort Orox. We don't really have any business out on the highway. Let's stay in town. Okie doke. It's a short little artisan street. 
Alright, oh yeah, the Turner's Jewelers for our quest. So what you're saying is, any minute now, indeed, we shouldn't have long to wait. Oh, it looks like he's with a customer right now. What should we do? Should we return later? Hmm? Judging by the uniform, you are... Ah, and I see Lord Eustace is with you too. Welcome to our store. Have you come regarding the field study request? Oh, jeez. We have, but I'd like to... I'd ask... I'd ask that you please refrain from giving us any special treatment on my account. <clears throat> if our timing is inconvenient for you, we're quite uh, amenable to returning at a later hour. No, no, it's the opposite. In fact, we were just discussing you as it happens. All right, then. Wait, you're discussing us? Does that mean? Of course, if you'd allow me to explain. This is Banked, a tourist currently staying here in Berahard. Very hard. That's still, he's the one responsible for the requests that brought you here. See, I'm going to get, be getting married in the near future. I just did. Woo! Not in the near future. I just did. And I came here to inquire about having a wedding ring made. The artisans of Barry Hard are renowned far and wide for their skill with gem processing, so it seemed the ideal choice. So you've made what I presume to be a substantial journey in search of the perfect ring. Look at these gems! Holy shit! Whoa! Isn't it a wonderfully romantic thing to do, isn't it? There's no denying the quality of the jewels one can procure here, but they don't come cheap. That's exactly right, unfortunately. Buying one of the local gemstones on my income isn't very plausible. And a septium ring especially is out of the question. I quickly realized how impulsive I'd been and had almost given up. Then I consulted with Brooke here on whether or not I had any chance of finding a good deal and he gave me a really good idea. Oh? That's right, a precious stone might be out of his budget, but there are stones just as beautiful that are a whole lot cheaper. Semi-precious stones, if you will. The name's pretty self-explanatory. I suggested we make a ring for him using one, specifically a gem known as Dryad's Tear. Hmm, I'm not familiar with that one. I think I may have heard of it, actually. It's made from a very particular tree sap that hardens like stone after being exposed to air for a long time, and has a translucent shine to it that people say is easily the equal of septium. That's the one. I'm surprised you know so much about it. I guess you're an expert on Jews as well, huh? That's our Emma. It's just a personal interest of mine. So does that mean the reason you called us here is... I, exactly. I'd like you to go collect one of these Dryad's Tears for my clients. Fortunately for you, many of the trees that the tears can be harvested from grow on the North Crewson Highway. But even though it only qualifies as semi-precious, it's still a pretty rare gem. So finding one night might not be an easy task. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to buckle down and look. Yes, we will. It may not be quite the challenge our dear friend here has made it out to be, you know. Huh? Uh-oh. Who are you? White Cape Man, the innocent wood nymph's tear that you seek. How would you respond if I were to say that I saw one with my own, mere, my own eyes mere moments ago? Who, who's this guy? Do you know him, Eustace? Can't say I recall ever meeting him before, no. Gracious, how terribly impolite of me not to introduce myself before speaking. My name is Baron Blue Blanc. It is a true pleasure to make your acquaintance. From painting, sculptures, and the finest of arts to the most delicately detailed crafts, I am a connoisseur and lover of beauty, craftsmanship, and artistry in all their many splendid forms. I see. He seems a little off-puttingly eccentric. But that's enough about myself. I hear you're seeking a Dryad's Tear. Yes, that's right. You say you saw one moments ago? Are you certain? My dear lady, I would never dream of lying about matters of beauty. I behold the light which you seek on the northern highway. Of that I am most certain, and yet I must confess that my knowledge of the area is not so great that I would be able to share it exa its exact location. Though, perhaps, that's the way it should be. After all, a brilliant light is, has true meaning only when one grasps it with his own two hands. You don't say. Guy's manner of speech is irritating. So is the content of his words. Aha, now, now, let's hear him out. Well, we're certainly appreciative for the information. May I ask why you're telling us all of this, though? Perhaps it is the spirit of Inquisitus that drives you to seek a beauty mere mirror. Mere mirror. 
<laughs> Cannot buy. I moves me so, and being the generous man that I am, I deign to extend an olive branch. Is that sufficient enough reason for you? Sure. Well, we'll know soon enough he's telling the truth. You, yes, we need to begin our search. We can choose the, to follow his lead, unspecific as it may be, or disregard it entirely. I think our chances are about equal either way. Well, we'll be leaving now. Hopefully, you'll see us back soon with the Dryad's Tear in Toe. Good luck. I appreciate it. Good day to you. Time to put a ring on it. And away we go. Okay, okay. <coughs> uh, can I use this way to go? Nope. Thought I was supposed to go that way. Guess not. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Okay. Where's the North Kritzen Highway? Uh, let's check this way. La Station Street. Oh, there it is. And then there's Arx Canyon. And then the airport. What's over on this section of town? Hello there! This place is rad. Check it out, partner. Those street jumps are crazy. What's in here? the station? Oh, this is right. Ah. Turn around then. That's the train station I came out of. Let's see. What's in this building? Galleria. Tricolore. Good day, Lord Eustace. It's always an honor to have your patronage here. Please take your time and peruse our selection. What do you sell? What do you sell? Boots and cozy socks? That's it? Hmm. Truly, I'm proud of the fact that our mere shoe store can be part of Christie's. Please leave all your shoe related needs to me. Okay. What is this place? Boutique Camellia. Are you here to make an order? Or perhaps you've come to pick up your goods. Oh, my apologies. I assume that you're here for tailoring. Please take your time to look around. What do you sell? Fiber guard, energy bandana, and cooling belt. No. Your shop sucks. Your shop is Tissuck. I'm here to buy goods for the party being hosted at our mansion. Buying ingredients is a given, but I've also given... So I've got to make sure the interior of the mansion looks spotless. Appearances are everything to the nobility, you see. Welcome to the Henderson Company. Can I issue you an in this tea, perhaps? It's produced in the Sutherland province and is popular for its elegant fragrance. What do you sell? In addition to furniture crafted in the bare hard style, we also sell rare ingredients, among other things. We stand by the quality of everything we sell. As Lord Eustace said, even we count on the Albarea household among our distinguished customers. If you have any questions about our lineup, please ask my daughter, who also works here. What do you sell? Oh, you're the item shop. You are a le item shop. Okie doke. I think we're good on items. Oh. This place is like a mall. You got Arms and Saddlery Club Lexington. Welcome. I assume that you're Lord Eustace's classmates. We have a wide range of arms and horse tack and stock here. So feel free to take your time and peruse them. Horseback here as well. It's almost like it's a store specifically for horseback riding. Indeed, horseback riding and hunting are both still popular here after all. Salsa so is the best store for hunting related tools too. It's an honor to hear those words from Lord Eustace himself. We also have a range of arms manufactured by the Reinford Company should you be interested in those. Oh, I gotta talk first. Oh yes, a word of warning. Do take care that you should choose... Should you choose to head the path to Oryx Canyon, the journey to Oryx is a long one and monsters have been appearing on the canyon more frequently. I recommend that you be fully prepared if you have any intention of going there. Sure, why not? <gasps> hey, these are the things that I... These are the things that I need. These are the weapons. Holy shit, it's going to set me back. 
So, do I have enough? Uh, I do not. I have 4,000 Mira. Well, to get all these gears, we got that. That doesn't go to anyone. Oh, that's for Sam, who's sitting on the bench. Saber and Karambit. Okay, we're going to come back here once we've saved some money. Because there's going to be another grind session off camera, guys. I got to get stronger. Okay. Oh, wait. This is a part of the mall. Fortnum Books. Tolk. This area used to be a street entirely dedicated to stores for the nobility. Back in the day, they would all come along in their carriages ready to purchase the finest in goods. Now said street is gone, and instead this department store stands in its place. Yet the clientele remains the same as ever. What do you say? You sell the books. What do I have in my inventory? I got one of those. I don't have this one. I don't have this one. All right. Books acquired. Hey there, sir. Talking to you. Oh dear, the young lady of the house I serve has run away from home. She's ever so frail, so I was under the impression that she would have made her way to Berea hard. No one seems to have seen her here, however. Lady Annabelle, wherever could she be? You went to a whole nother city to look for a lost person? Hmm. I don't know about you, man. Don't know about you. All right. I think it said I needed to go to the North Kritzen Highway. The canyon path is not the way I want to go because a lot of people here. Holy shit. However do I get down there? Oh, wait. I think I found the way down, guys. Time out. The journey. Doors are locked. Why is this locked? Where does it lead to? Man! Totally thought I was going to be able to go down there. Guess not. Thought I was going to get that treasure chest. Alright. You there. Indeed, I've ordered some fine clothing for the summer. Hee <laughs> hee, I have to be sure to keep up with all this year's trends. Men regard May as their hunting season. Meanwhile, we ladies regard it as the season of new fashion. Oh ho ho ho! I never expected to come across Lady Asselin here. I will not have to do something about this situation, however. They tend to enter their own little world once they begin talking, to the point that they can spend the entire day doing so. Okay. Anywho, we're off to see. Oh, what's here? Hello. Hello, little kids. Uh oh. Oh, it's Lord Eusis. It's Lord Eusis. Wow, it really is. I'm so sorry we didn't notice you. We were just reading a book. Were we not? I see you're still taking good care of your brother. Mama and Dad are working at the mansion again, so the two of us end up alone during the afternoon. That's why we're both waiting here for them to finish. Guess what? I know how to wait patiently now. Is that so? You're both worthy of praise then. Yay! Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. I have to leave now, but be sure to watch out for cars. Don't run out onto the road either. We'll be careful. Bye bye. Eusis is good. He's popular with kids, isn't he? No one expected this. Would you care to give us your thoughts on this, Sam? Not really, no. Besides, he's still far too blunt, even with children. Cease your gibbering. We have business to attend to. Bye-bye, Lord Eusis. Aha! Okay. Monsterinos. Questerinos. You know what it's time for. This episode has gone a good distant amount of time. A distant, a decent amount of time. It's time to pause, save the game, do some grinding off the camera so everybody's strong. And then I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably I'll record it later in the day. I don't know how long the grinding is going to go. Or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But anyways, like, uh, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Spread the good word of the RPG Corner far and wide, and we'll continue our journeys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.